Yo, yo, yo. This is Peanut, digital baby mom. Like, comment, and subscribe so you can pay for this motherfucking child support. Y'all know he broke his hand, so y'all know we need all that motherfucking money. Yeah. And don't forget, my name is Peanut. Show me some money, too. Mmm. Everybody got their little two cents about the Shannon Sharp interview. Me, personally, I think it's missing one thing. Shannon Sharp needs a co-host, dog. Bruh. Imagine if Shannon Sharp had that nigga Ice, bruh. Ice from Joe Buttons. Bro, that interview would have changed the landscape of podcasting as we know it, bro. It would have changed the landscape and the intricacies of understanding and, and over-understanding podcast ratios and uh, uh, entertainment discussionals and like all kind of stuff, dog. Let's go, Ice, Shannon Sharp, and add that nigga Shampoo too. That's the podcast goats, dog. Joe Buddy could quit and retire after that, dog. Shannon Sharp and Ice in the same team. It's a wrap. Man, so on Reddit, you know, they're saying Joe Budden manager and Joe Budden was low-key kind of hating on the Shannon Sharp interview. His manager, Land, comes out and says, The K and Shannon interview was great. 25 million views in 48 hours is even greater. But can you imagine if that was behind a subscription platform that Shannon had set up under his own control? Now, I'm going to be real. I'm not mad. Just take it off. It's dead wrong and it's kind of dumb in my personal opinion. I think Joe is, look, I'm going to say this. I think Joe is a podcaster that stayed consistent and built his brand off of genuine conversations. But I think he views himself as like some transformative figure, like a Steve Jobs kind of figure. That's going to change the landscape of entertainment forever and make hundreds of billions podcasting. Joe always speaks as if, like, it's such a bigger picture than podcasting. So land having his point of view is not far off. He's speaking from a place of arrogance and confidence. In order to, ju- to, to do what Joe is doing or plan on doing, he needs people around him to have that same kind of energy. Not everyone around him, but his manager. Now me, I truly believe that this is how the white people at the top or the successful people think. Sometimes they might say dumb or arrogant things, but they believe in themselves. They believe it so much that it ends up working. Look at Kanye. Now, me personally, I don't think that Joe or his manager is really hating on Shannon Sharp like that. They're hating like 80%, but not 100%. But I see where I Ian is coming from. Like, I see it. Digital thugs, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.